What looks easy peasy lemon squeezy but is actually difficult difficult lemon difficult. Work. I'm a lawyer and had a client call saying she needs a help with a merger. But don't worry. It's super easy peasy lemon squeezy. That project took six months and I almost had a breakdown. She didn't understand why the bill was so high since it was so easy. Playing the triangle. A lot of my non-musician friends joke about how easy it is to play it. Then they actually hold the damn thing and look stupid. I can still remember my band director. You guys laugh about the triangle players. But you have no idea how hard it is to stay focused while counting 132 bars and not miss your cue. Single quote. Whistling with your fingers. I did it once like six years ago and haven't been able to replicate it since. Pisses. Me. Off. Dancing. I wouldn't say it looks easy. But when I see people do it. They're so good at it and it flows so well it looks easy. But damn. I just cannot get my body to do anything more than a bop and maybe some stupid arm moves. I'm 25 and dance like a 50 year old at a reunion. Dancers are so delicate and make it look so easy. It's honestly amazing. It's just hilarious when I try to do literally anything and fail horribly. All smoke and mirrors. Friends. As a dance teacher, I can tell you confidently that it feels absolutely silly until you just start to sell it. 90% confidence. 10% squats. Having fun is step number one. Fake it till you make it. Drawing something from memory. Like a bird or something. In mind, yep that's a bird on paper, that's. A bird? Draws squiggly lines far away in the horizon. Birds. Or an M. Which is why McDonald's is sometimes called the golden seagull. Digging. Anytime it's shown in movies or TV it looks easy AF but the second you have to grab a shovel and break dirt. Blah. Those CAPTCHA things on Google. I can honestly never read them and the website always thinks I'm a robot. Maybe you are a robot. Are, totally not robots. A basic physical exam at the doctor. Looks like a simple, look at the throat, listen to the chest, yup they have a heart alright. When in actuality doctors spend thousands of hours practicing it so that when you come in with a murmur or funny looking kid syndrome, they can recognize it immediately. And yes. There are entire class sections on how to respectfully ask your patient to turn their head and cough as you push on their balls, they're looking for hernias. Natural makeup. More work than regular makeup. Easy as pie. Pie is the most difficult thing I've ever done, made. Street names. Everyone thinks it's great fun and likes to offer suggestions but every tree. Lake. An other natural feature has at least a dozen variations which you can't repeat for emergency service reasons. That and you get cities which want a street name change anytime the road changes direction regardless of a logical breakpoint like an intersection. I legit thought you meant street names like Lil T or Fingers. Yeah you gotta watch out for Fingers. He does unspeakable things. Single quote. Pretty much anything that a professional does. They make it look easy cause it's their job. Throw a football 65 yards accurately? PSSSH simple if you're an elite athlete. Cut open a chest cavity to fix a few coronary arteries? It's just another day at the office for a surgeon. Frame up a structural wall within a 2,000 square feet house? Just a bunch of wood and nails is all you need. Make crowded teeth perfectly aligned? Surely it's just a matter of wearing trays 1 through 55. Voila. It's all straight. In reality, each of these tasks takes someone who trained for years to visualize the problem. Solve it. And execute it to the T. It looks easy. Cause they practiced the hell out of it. You just summed up being a librarian. It's like people think that just obtaining that title means we morph into the human embodiment of Google. Develop mind reading abilities. And instantly memorize every book in our collection. Nope. We get master's degrees. And then spend a ton of time practicing how to work out what the hell you're actually asking about so we can find the book with crawdads. Single quote. Making lemonade. Sure squeezing one lemon is easy peasy. But do you know how much juice that makes? Not a lot. Fill in the rest with sugar. It's the American way. Or just use country time lemonade. There's nothing close to a lemon in it. Country time lemonade. Underscore. Sugar never tasted so lemon. Underscore. Flying remote controlled helicopters. It looks so effortless when watching seasoned flyers but in reality it's like balancing a marble on an upturned bowl.
I'll never forget the time I went out and bought a decently priced helicopter. Five minutes into setting it up. I didn't even get it three feet off the floor before I smashed it into a chair destroying the rotor blades. I tried maybe like five to six more times before I gave up and now it hangs in my garage as a monument to my failure. Edit. I was outside. Hanging out with friends during that I'm not at school but I'm still dependent on my family period where you have spare time but have no way of getting anywhere. Yeah. Well just wait. You got a solid few years where that eases up and you hang out a lot. Then you have four or five years where you end up at a wedding every other month for a few years. Then you get a few years of strange first birthday parties that are a weird blend of the old drinking days mixed with the odd responsibilities of a handful of new parents that just makes the whole scene really weird. You'll get an invite to the second birthday. But you'll make up a crappy excuse for not going. Then you're on your own and have to make new bar friends. Get married. Or get caught up in a pyramid scheme. Pow right in the. Part of the brain that makes you feel existential dread. Writing a 250-word open-ended reflection where you're expected to be creative. All I want as a grad student is some goddamn structure and also a rubric sad face. As you progress through the levels of degrees. It is supposed to become more abstract. High school, you're basically just reciting the book. Highly structured. Just follow directions. Bachelor's degree, reciting parts of the book and generating some original thoughts within a guideline. Master's degree, capable of independent thought. Only referencing knowledge from the book. And applying that knowledge in unstructured ways. PhD, you wrote the book. Actually doing things. In theory it's simple. Just do the thing. In reality I procrastinate until I hate myself. Self-discipline is the single hardest skill to master in this world that makes it so easy to just. Not. The four laundry baskets full of clean clothes sitting in my bedroom would agree with you. Maintaining friendships from high school, college after you graduate. People get so busy with work and starting their own families that friendships get put on the back burner. You stop talking to someone for a few months. Then it suddenly hits you that you're no longer friends with the person. Reach back out though. Everyone understands and I've rekindled and kept in touch intermittently with so many amazing people. Yes we're not best friends who talk every day but if S went down I could give them a call and vice versa and when we do get together it's a great time. My best friend from elementary school reached out after 20 years of going our own way. It's remarkable how much we both still have in common. I use a wheelchair and people usually don't believe me when I say that getting around can be difficult. Because many of them think that pushing a wheelchair is easy. They literally tell me this. The thing is when you use a wheelchair all day and it is basically your only means of transportation. It looks more natural. This becomes a problem when I point out accessibility problems. They often don't believe me because they see how I can navigate and assume that it's easy, just because I make it look easy. And your arms gotta be ripped by now. My arms went from flab to fab in the first two months I had to use my wheelchair. On the downside, my legs did the opposite. Finding the person I always saw myself falling in love with. Folding fitted sheets. I've watched instructional videos that make it look so easy but I always just end up with a crumpled up mess. And that's how it gets put away. The most common type of ghost is the one in a white sheet with waving arms. These are the spirits of people who died while trying to fold a fitted sheet. Finding a career you'll want to go to every day that won't crush your soul. Remember when you were young and teachers told you that you could be whatever you wanted to be. Yeah. Not so realistic when you want to pay bills and maybe have a little beer money too. I didn't go to college and struggle with the thought of not being able to have a lateral career move without a degree. But then I see my friends absolutely floundering with their student loan payments and think maybe I don't have it so bad after all. I went to college. Grad school. Got a PhD and work in a senior role at a highly coveted company. I still don't feel happy. The one thing I've learned after all these years is that happiness is not defined by title or company affiliation or number of letters after your name. My resume won't be on my tombstone. But in many ways, I'm stuck because of the responsibilities I have now and all the people in my family and my profession I'm accountable to. I feel like I'll always be in the pursuit of happiness rather than enjoying the moment I'm living in. Beekeeping. 
You see videos of these old dudes in their veils and beekeeping suits and it makes it seem so relaxing and easy. Turns out that bees aren't so good at finding enough food on their own and they can get sick really easy and in the winter they can mold. Have you ever seen moldy bees? Sometimes they're not even dead. It's still worth it though. Greater than have you ever seen moldy bees? Sometimes they're not even dead. Wah. Zombies. Socializing with people. I have severe social anxiety. And even small interactions with strangers. And even some people I've known for a while are really hard for me. I don't hate people or dislike being around them. But I'm just awful at keeping conversations going or initiating them. Outgoing people make it look very easy. For me it is not. Losing weight. Changing habits is hard. People tend to mistake simple things for being easy. Well said. And very true with weight loss. It's simple. But dang it ain't easy. Getting away with murder. Nationwide the catch rate for murders is only about 50-50. It's way easier if you kill someone you're not close to. Losing my virginity. That's me in the corner. That's me in the flashlight. Oozing my emission. Playing an instrument. Have played most percussion instruments. Trumpet. Some baritone. And was first chair tuba, sousaphone for four years and difficulty varies based on instrument and physical attributes. Being an adult. They never had to do homework. Could stay up late. Eat what they wanted and had the money. I wish I was a naive kid again. Being in your 20s. As a clueless kid I thought by now I'd have everything figured out and my life on track. I'm still clueless but now I also have depression. In my 30s. Still clueless. In my 50s. Not completely clueless. But I sure wish my older generation were still around to bounce ideas with. In my 40s. Old enough to know better. Not old enough to care. Golf. I feel like most people think they can just grip it and rip it and don't take into account how hard it is to have a consistently good swing with solid contact. Committing suicide. Looks easy. But when the time comes. It can be very hard to commit to it. Then you spiral further down the rabbit hole thinking you're so s you can't even kill yourself. True story. Apparently figuring out what the opposite of easy peasy lemon squeezy would be. The correct answer is, stressed depressed. Lemon zest thank you.